new super light Kashima fork. We shaved about 600 grams on the forks. Uh, so the, the front of the, the bikes need to be as light as possible. So we have been working hard in uh, shaving all the single grams. For me, the, the fork is really, really good. It's a good improvement because uh, we are always on, on the back wheel, be in indoor, but also in outdoor. And the lighter forks is really important for us because uh, we feel more comfortable and also for the weight of the, of the bike is a good improvement. Yeah, on the, on the fork, we have been working uh, first of all on the extension tube. We have done several FIM testing and uh, FIM simulation analysis. We uh, simulate completely the fork and uh, we got several input from the OEs. They gave us the uh, testing they're doing to validate the, the bikes. So we know the force that is getting into the fork in a frontal way, in the radial way, and torsional way as well, because the, the brake torque, we know it. And uh, we put all of them into the FIM testings, the software that uh, is recreating the, uh, the stress, the deformation of the single parts into the fork. So we can shape all the extra weight that is not needed. And uh, that's the way we came to uh, this very slim layout and design. And we have shaped, uh, the, obviously the outside shape, you can see it here. And also inside has been shaped, it's a triple butted extension tube. So we changed the thickness during the, the length. And uh, on the lowers, we have been shaving everything. We turned all the way up here and uh, we are CNC here on the bottom, here and back. And uh, inside, we have been working on, uh, on the coil springs. Uh, we are using the very special material. It's, uh, it's an high-end steel, stress steel material. So I mean, we, can, we can increase the coil pitch so we can reduce the weight of the fork. Uh, or the coil uh, based on uh, on the same behavior of the coil itself. So those three areas uh, allowed us to, to shave about 600 grams. We are looking uh, for a fork that it doesn't go very deep, you know. Uh, so we have quite a lot of uh, weight in front on with the battery. We need um, uh, a nice fork with big support so it doesn't go deep and, and we still have plenty of travel to work. Obviously, uh, we have been, uh, we took also the option to get the, the air available too. A very famous brand in the motorcycle, uh, Showa. They, they've been testing this one in the past. Also Kayaba, they did it as well. They all stopped because the, the air, it's very light, obviously, compared to the coil, but uh, you cannot get rid of the uh, sticky sensitivity in the beginning. So this, this, this lipstick uh, effect is still there, no matter if you're working on a very special seal or um, lubrication or whatever. So the initial feeling of the, the coil springs cannot be replicated in any way with the air. And especially on trials, they are really peaking on the very beginning on the, the stroke. So we really believe the, that the air is not the way to go. Euh, la suspension avant, elle me donne plus de légèreté et, si, et avec les réglages, arrive, on arrive à, à faire à, par rapport à mon poids, donc euh, je sens plus de légèreté et euh, c'est beaucoup plus, enfin euh, si on a envie de chercher donc des, des appuis plus franches et tout, donc on arrive à, à mieux les trouver et franchement, euh, cette fourche elle est top, elle est plus légère et en même temps on sent qu'il y a beaucoup de rebonds, c'est nickel. Pour nous, c'est parfait. J'ai testé tout déjà et j'aime beaucoup. Ça me sent plus much more nimble the bike and still going forward on the on the steps so uh, yeah it's perfect i like it every rider that is eager to to get a very light light at front with the super sliding kashima coating uh, technology they can they can get the, the fork available in the aftermarket that is